Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss the synthesis of methyl esters. A carboxylic acid ester is a carboxylic acid derivative where it has this particular structure where conceptually we replace the acidic hydrogen on the carboxylic group by an alkyl group R prime. R and R prime can either be the same or different alkyl or halo alkyl groups. Methyl esters specifically have the structure shown to the right, where again R can be any alkyl or halo alkyl group or even a hydrogen atom. A simple way to synthesize a wide class of esters is to simply react a carboxylic acid with the group R with an alcohol that bears the R prime group. The result of the reaction is the structure shown in the upper left. During the linkage of the carboxylic acid and the alcohol, we have the loss of the elements of water. So this is also a dehydration reaction. And in addition to the ester product, the other product is water. Because of this, the straightforward reaction of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol often does not go to completion. And very often, the equilibrium constant might be on the order of one third, meaning that we only get one third of the amount of product we would expect, and our reaction mixture, in addition to containing the ester product, contains considerable amounts of unreacted carboxylic acid and alcohol. It is usually advantageous to begin not with a carboxylic acid, but with a carboxylic acid chloride, which acts as an activated form of the carboxylic acid. In addition, instead of having a dehydration reaction and the loss of water, we actually have the loss of the elements of hydrogen chloride, which being a gas can be expelled directly from the reaction mixture thereby driving the reaction to completion. If we intend to synthesize a methyl ester, the alcohol that we are going to use is going to be methanol, methyl alcohol. And to expedite synthesis, instead of using a carboxylic acid, we are going to use the acid chloride. The reaction is another example of a nucleophilic acyl substitution. Because of the lone pairs on oxygen, alcohols are nucleophiles, if rather weak nucleophiles. We know that chlorine is an excellent leaving group as chloride. And we also know that the presence of the acyl group facilitates the nucleophilic substitution. So we have nucleophilic attack by the lone pairs of oxygen on the electron deficient carbon of the carbonyl group, while at the same time we have heterolytic bond cleavage so that the electrons go with chlorine. We get a tetravalent transition state Electrons making the double bond go onto oxygen, which converts this carbon-oxygen double bond to a single bond, and putting a negative charge on this oxygen, while because the, the alcohol came in with a protonated alcohol, so it's, it's actually a neutral molecule here, we end up with a positively charged oxonium ion in this region. So we started with a neutral molecule added to a nuclear neutral molecule, so therefore our transition state 
has to be electrically neutral. And we have one negative charge and one positive charge, which gives us overall electrical neutrality. Next, we have completion of our heterolytic bond cleavage to the chlorine to go off as chloride. We have this electron pair moving in to convert the single bond to a double bond. And we have some base, which is likely to be methanol, but could also be chloride in our solution, is going to abstract the acidic hydrogen from the methanol. As a result, we get our major organic product, which is the methyl ester. The base abstracts the proton there, so that leaves as HB, and chloride is our leaving group, so we're left with chloride as a product. An important thing to notice here is where each of the oxygens in the ester comes from. The oxygen that is in the carbonyl group originally came from the acid chloride, and before that from the carboxylic acid from which we generated the acid chloride. This particular oxygen comes from the alcohol. Our first reaction involves formal chloride reacting with methanol. Please try to predict what the major organic product of this reaction is going to be. You can pause the video and then when you've determine the structure and the name of the product, then you can restart the video to check your answer. Our product has this structure and this compound is called methyl formate. So notice that the first part of the ester name comes from the alcohol used. Here it's methyl alcohol, so we have methyl formate and that the carboxylic acid or acid chloride is named as if it were a conjugate base. So we have therefore formate. So we have methyl formate as our product. Please see the following figures which show computed structures for reactants, products, and the transition state for this specific reaction. Our second reaction involves acetyl chloride and methanol. Now please predict the major organic product, both its structure and its name. Our major organic product is called methyl acetate with this particular structure. If you are trying to name an unknown ester, that you just see the structure of, be sure to make sure that you include the carbonyl group with all the alkyl groups with it, name that as the acid, and then the singly bound oxygen and any alkyl groups to it are named for the alcohol. So here we see this comes from methanol, so we have methyl. This particular region comes from acetic acid, therefore acetate, so we have methyl acetate. Please see the following figures showing the computed structures of reactants, products, and the transition state for the reaction.
Our third reaction involves propionyl chloride and methanol. Please predict the major organic products structure and proper name. Here we have the major organic product, methyl propionate. Kindly see the following figures, which show computed structures for the reactants, products, and transition states. For our fourth and final reaction, we have butyryl chloride reacting with methanol. Please predict the major organic products, structure, and name. The major organic product shown here is methyl butyrate. Please see the following computed structures for reactants, products, and transition states. Please see the following two tables, which list the uh, computed energetics for the energies of activation for the transition states in the reactions of acid chlorides with methanol, followed by the enthalpies of reaction for the reaction of acid chlorides with methanol in the gas phase. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.